somebody says, what are the great lessons for this, for the Jewish people? Well, the first lesson is for Israel. First lesson is for Israel. For decades, we have been hearing people tell Israel, don't worry, make concessions, you know, Oslo records, give away Gaza. And if they use the territories, if they use the ammunition, if they use the weapons to declare war, you have the United States of America to help you, Europe will help you, the United Nations will help you, other peace-loving countries will help you. Israel was always schlepped to make concession after concession after concession, and it knew those concessions can endanger literally the six, seven million Jews living there, and Arabs living there. But they were told the world will be behind peace. So now look what happened. Russia invades Ukraine, and nobody could stop it. Nobody can stop it. Now, the Ukrainians are putting up a very, very impressive fight. I don't think Putin expected this type of resistance, this type of fight. And Vladimir Zelensky, who's of course a Jew, the first president of Ukraine, I think, ever, who's a Jew. His father is Jewish. His father is Jewish. His mother is Jewish. I don't know if you know, his grandfather fought the Nazis in the Soviet war against the Nazis. There were four brothers and three were killed. And his, fa- his grandfather survived. Much of his family was killed in the Holocaust in the Ukraine. Some of them ran away. His grandmother, I think, ran away. That's why they survived. They came back to the Ukraine after the Holocaust, where he was born. And, you know, he was offered to leave, and he said, I don't need a ride. I need ammunition. But we're dealing with a very, very difficult situation. Now, this is not about... uh, I, I have no intimate knowledge in the politics between Russia and Ukraine. But we have to remember that the traumas of war are devastating. And nobody thought that in the 21st century, a leader would not understand that to go invade another country in such a fashion is simply, simply heinous. The bloodshed that wars have caused, the pain, the trauma, for generations, for centuries, is indescribable. And even one life, even one life that's lost is an, an international catastrophe. But this is a great lesson for Israel. People tell Israel, don't worry, people will be here for you. Who's going to be here for you? And that's why it's so important that Israel remain absolutely strong and with God's grace, always focus on its national security interest to make sure that every citizen, every Jew and every non-Jew, every good person is protected there and protected there in the most meticulous and precise way and God forbid not to make a concession that literally can offer terrorists the ability to continue to launch attacks that kill and maim innocent men, women, and children. I think that is one major lesson.